Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot an invalid expression or invalid block definition errors while using user data in Terraform. This is part of the infrastructure as a code series that I'm working on and you can find the rest of the videos in the channel's playlist. Okay, when I was researching about, about this topic, uh, I found a lot of examples over the internet with a weird syntax that probably were fine some years ago but now in the newer versions of Terraform it is failing and uh, the documentation is not uh, up to date but it was it was giving me a lot of issues while trying to reproduce and to use the user data in my main.tf block let me show you what i'm getting at the moment if i do a terraform init it will show you this error stating that uh, there is an invalid expression uh, argument or block definition required invalid block definition but if you go to the main.tf, as I mentioned in the in the examples that I found in the internet, you can find it this way, and this way uh, is stated that is being correct. You can see the user data is getting uh, a no file um, code here and you you can put all the commands that you need to be sorry that you need to execute while the ec2 is being created but is giving me problems and i was uh, spending a lot of time uh, by doing changes and doing some research and i couldn't find a good example to fix my problem in newer uh, terraform versions and the simple solution is to remove this space if I put this way, you will get rid of, of the errors that you just shown. Okay, let me save here. And I'm going to do a Terraform init. It will initialize my backend as expected. As you can see, the error is gone now. And I'm able to do a Terraform apply with the auto approve. And it will create an EC2 and it will execute all the user data uh, commands that I just put in that section. And finally, it will publish a static website automatically in my EC2. I'll show you when this command execution is completed. Okay, it just finished. And as you can see here, we have the public IP address. I'm going to copy it and go to the browser so that I can access directly to the to the recently installed website in there and as you can see here this is the page that i just created by using terraform and user data and this is how you can get rid of of the invalid block uh, error while using user data in terraform thanks